Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to look like Bellatrix Lestrange. So if you guys want to know how you can look like this with makeup, then just keep watching. First off, take a concealer and just apply that pretty much all over your face. You just want to apply this all over to give yourself that kind of pale and dead <laughs> look that Bellatrix has. And then you can just blend that out with your fingers. After all the concealer is on, you're going to want to set that so it doesn't move around throughout the night. And I'm using my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. And this just sets all the concealer and it gives your skin a more pale look as well. So the most important thing about Bellatrix's look is her totally sunken in cheekbones. So I'm just going to be taking my um, Sephora bronzer that I normally contour with and taking my Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to find the natural curve of my cheekbones and apply that along that indent. Taking some matte brown shades from my BH Cosmetics palette, I'm just going to kind of concentrate on the area that goes down towards the chin because that's where her cheeks are most sunken in. You're also going to want to contour your chin a little bit as well because she has more of a square chin. <laughs> Anyways, continue with the chin and also bring that along the sides of your jawline as well. And then you're going to want to take that big fluffy Real Technique brush again and just blend that out a bit. Taking a smaller blending brush, I'm just going to blend that downwards. And this look is all about going back and forth between applying more shadows on your cheekbones and then blending it out. So it's okay if it takes you like an hour just to do that. <laughs> Then you're going to want to move on to contouring your nose. And Bellatrix definitely has a thinner and shorter nose than I do, so I'm just going to try to make it thinner with the same shadow that I used to contour. And I'm also going to make my nose look pointier by contouring the tip of it. And I didn't record this part, but I also put some um, eyeliner on the tops of my nostrils just because hers are more triangular shaped than mine and they kind of look like they're constantly flared so that's kind of an unnecessary step you guys don't need to do that but I think it just makes your look a little bit more complete and then you're gonna want to take that highlighter after you're done blending out the nose and just blend that downwards and this is just gonna help you define the shape of your nose a little bit more And of course you're going to want to blend all that out with a kabuki brush. And so now for the eyes, I'm taking a dark purple shade and mixing it with a matte brown shade that I used to contour. And I'm just going to apply that on like below my eyes to create the bags and also in the crease to create the sunken eye look. You can also apply that to the areas that need more if you need to. And you can just keep building the color until you get it just right. Then I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and placing that under my lower lash line. After that, you're going to want to put some darkish brown shadow on your lids, but make sure it's not darker than the shade that you use to contour the crease of your eye with. So now for the eyebrows, Bellatrix has thicker eyebrows in the front and then they kind of grow thinner as they go out. So just build up the eyebrow mostly near the center and then make it thinner as you go. And 
and then I'm just going back and applying some more darker colors on the cheekbones and blending it out just to make sure that it's perfect and then applying a really thin coat of mascara. Alright, so now for the lips. Bellatrix has a more rounded upper lip than I do, so if you guys have a cupid's bow, then just apply the lipstick right over that. Don't accentuate it. Once you have the shape down, you're just going to want to take a brown eyeshadow and apply that all over the lips because Bellatrix has really gnarly chapped lips. <laughs> Alright, so the hair is definitely a really, really important part for this look, so you're just going to want to tease a lot of it on top and pin it back, and then just taking a curling iron, or a wand actually, you're just going to want to take some random strands, especially around your face, like the bangs, and just curl those, and then continue teasing if you need to, just to make sure to add a bunch of volume. So yeah, after you're done with the hair, then your look is totally complete. And if you guys are doing this for Halloween, I wish you good luck and hope you have a good Halloween. Thanks for watching.